So here's a trick. If you ever oversalt something, how many people have oversalted something? <laughs> I've I got a trick for you. I have to tell you a little story. I was sharing this with Joe the other night, actually last night, about my first encounter making carrot ginger soup. And it was like a final for my culinary degree, okay? And I put, I don't know, I was trying to be creative. And so I put a little bit too much cardamom in the soup. And cardamom is one of those spices that's just really healing and really wonderful for you. But my God, if you put too much in, it's like eating Chanel number no. five perfume. <laughs> so there I am, and I'm like, oh my God, I am going to flunk out of culinary school for too much cardamom. And I wouldn't be standing here today. But um, anyway, so I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So here is where I learned the technique that I am going to teach you, my secret to getting to yum. But I didn't know that then, what I was doing, right? I had to balance the flavor. So I am running around now. You have to understand that you only have X amount of time. It's worse than Iron Chef when you're taking a final. You have X amount of time. You've got to hand in four dishes. They taste them. You get graded on the spot. You either, you either are in or you're out. Okay, so I am the last one. I've got too much cardamom going on. So I'm gonna add my carrots and I'm freaking out. So I thought, you know what? Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of maple syrup. So I took a little maple syrup and then I took a little lemon juice and then I took a little bit of salt and I'm tasting and I'm tasting and I'm tasting. And I'm like, you know what? I've, I've gotten rid of that, like, too much cardamom, too much perfume. I think I've got it just right. And then I thought I saw nuts. And I went, oh, this will do it. I'm going to make some cashew cream. So I made some cashew cream, and I drizzled it on top, and I gave it to my teacher. And she's this very, very imposing teacher with the t big high hat. Right? And the white chef coat. And she had just tasted 19 bowls of carrot ginger soup. And I'm like, oh my god. It's like my future is in my hands. So, and I'm feeling very little. I'm feeling like this. And you know, I'm not exactly big to begin with. So she tastes the soup. And she pauses. And I'm like, okay. It was like the longest pause ever. And she says, you know what? She goes, mmm. Mmm. She let out the involuntary spasm of vocal delight. She let out the yum, right? Mmm. I thought, oh my God, what does that mean? She looked at me, she goes, Rebecca, you're Rebecca, aren't you? <laughs> I said, yes. <laughs> she said, you know what? This is the best bowl of soup I've tasted today. I'm like, oh my God, she should only, have. she goes, it's so complex. <laughs> it has so many layers of flavor. And I'm like, oh. and she goes, how did you do it? <laughs> now, I tell you this story because, of course, you know how I did it. I made a mistake. Okay, and I had to fix it. And that is how good culinary things happen in the kitchen. And I passed. Thank God. So, I'm telling you this story because I don't want you to be afraid of cooking. 
I don't want you to be afraid of making a mistake.